All right, let's run a test to try and figure out is my mouse inside the ball object or outside the ball object. I'm gonna give the ball a color to do this. Uh, I'm gonna create an integer called color. Here inside setup, I'm gonna construct a new color that is red. So 255 is how much red, this is how much green, this is how much blue. So I'm constructing my red color, I'm saving it into the color variable, and now here's where I'm drawing my ellipse. So I'm going to fill the ellipse with exactly that color. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna have a test that sees is the mouse inside the ball, and if the mouse is out inside the ball, I wanna turn the ball red, Other, sorry, I wanna turn the ball green, Otherwise, I want to turn the ball red. So let's make a test for this. Here's the idea of the test. If you have a circle, let's find it. If you have a circle and you want to know is a point inside or outside the circle, all you need to do is figure out what's the total straight line distance from your point to the center of the circle. If the distance from your point to the middle of the circle is smaller than the radius of the circle, your point must be inside the circle. If it's larger than the radius of the circle, you must be outside the circle. So that's the idea. So let's do this. Um, you know what, I'm gonna make a, a helper method for myself. I want a method that will calculate the distance between two points. So here I am outside my draw. I'm gonna say public, uh, I want it to return a double because I want this to give me my distance, and I know a distance is often gonna be a double. Um, and I'm gonna call it distance, and I'll need an x1 and a y1, and an x2 and a y2. We've made this method before, but you might have forgotten. So I'm gonna have this method calculate what is the total distance from this point to this point. Uh, I'm going to create a delta x that is the difference between x1 and x2. I'm going to create a delta y, which is the difference between the two y values. And I know the distance formula says that the total distance is the square root between the square of the x coordinates difference and the square of the y coordinates difference. So I'm going to return math dot square root of dx squared plus dy squared. All right, so now I'm calculating distances. Now that I'm able to do this, up here I can ask the question, is, let's save it into a variable, distance. So I'll say, is the distance from, let's see, the ball, so the ball's at x, y, and I wanna see how far away from the center of the ball is the mouse. So the mouse is at mouse x, mouse y. So see how convenient this is? My helper method will let me just calculate the distance when I need it. So now I can say, if that distance is uh, smaller than or equal to, how large is my ball object? Oh, it looks like it's, it's here, W and H. You know what, I'm actually not sure if W is the radius or if it's the entire diameter. We'll see in a second. So if the distance is smaller than the width of the circle, then I wanna make a new color, which will be no red, all green, and no blue. If the distance is larger than W, let's make the color be red again. All right, so putting it all together. Uh, I found the distance between the center of the ball and my mouse. If that distance is smaller than the width of the ball, I'll color it green. If the distance is larger than the width of the ball, I'll color it red. Let's see how it's working. Oh, the ball's going too fast for me to catch it. Let's slow it down. I'm gonna make it go one and one, and I'm gonna make it much larger. I'm gonna make it 100 by 100. So the answer is, it seems to be saying I'm inside it when I'm over here, and that's wrong. So I think actually what's happening is this W is actually the entire width of my ball. So if I want the radius, I'm gonna divide that by two. I'm actually gonna divide it by 2.0. Okay, let's try this again. Cool. So now it seems to be able to detect if my mouse is inside or outside the ball. Well, 
I've been changing colors when I'm inside or outside, but you might want to do other things. Like instead of changing colors, you might want to do something like give it more life or subtract life or something like that. Let's do one last thing. Let's make it so that it will only respond if I click while I'm inside the ball. So I'm going to cut these. And I'm going to create another special method here outside, outside of draw. It's going to be called public void mouse clicked. Mouse clicked runs exactly once whenever you click the mouse. So what I'm going to do is whenever the mouse gets clicked, that's when I want to find the distance. And I'm only going to turn the ball green or red when the mouse gets clicked. So let's run it now. So if I click out here, it's still red. I click in there, and it's green. And now it doesn't matter if I'm in or out, because it's not actually running. It's not actually running this code. It's not running it all the time like it used to inside draw. Now it's only running when it runs the mouse clicked method. So now it's really responding. Cool. Enjoy.